Now, I wanted to do something different for the last FM22 sort of like rebuild mini series that I've been doing over the last month or so. I decided to upload the 92 93 database courtesy of the mad scientist. Simulate a season and find out which team needs a little bit of a rebuild. As you can see, Manchester City are the obvious choice. This is obviously long before the days of the Etihad and the billion pounds main road Manchester. As you can see, they've got Paolo Fonseca in the 92 93 database, but they have been relegated. So I thought for one last rebuild, let's go and rebuild Manchester City. We're going to do it over three seasons though, potentially five seasons, depending on how much you guys at home like it. So today is going to be part one where we're going to build a new squad together in the championship, the old first division. And then over the next week or so, I'm going to drop episodes. The next episode of this will be Sunday morning. And then the final episode, season three, will be on Tuesday evening. We're going to see how I can do with Manchester City. Can we put them on the map? No Premier League titles, obviously. We need to change that. So here is Manchester City. They've got a little bit of work to do. They've got loads of money, but the squad is not the biggest. There's also, I imagine, a lot of players wanting to leave. Steve McMahon is going to be one of those. Um, he looks like he's heading out the door. Not happy that, obviously, the club got relegated. They were predicted as well to finish 7th. So a big shock that Manchester City ended up getting relegated. We have Niall Quinn up front in his, nearly in his prime. 26 years old, scored 18 goals in all competitions. 11 in 42. They were in UEFA Cup as well. I think it's probably cost them a little bit because the squad is so small. We didn't. Oh, we did. We qualified out of the group. How did we do in the knockouts? We got as far as the second leg, losing to Sparta Prague, which isn't good. There's a lot of work to be done. This plays like Gary Flickcroft, really good. However, he has a relegation release clause of only 11.5 million. So, bit of a wonder kid in the game. He's classed as a wonder kid, as you can see. So, not great. We're definitely going to be losing him in the summer. But we have got plenty of opportunity to rebuild the squad uh, so this is going to be it, Manchester City rebuild. Let's speed on to the end of the transfer window around August time. We'll have started life in the first division. Let's go and see who I have put together in the last rebuild of the series. Right, by the way, if you want to get your hands on this database and the fantastic uh, logos and face pack, all with this game that I'm using right now. Go check out the video link down in the description. Big shout out to the mad scientist who made the incredible database. Ash, who has very kindly given me for free the uh, photo pack, the face pack that I'll show you for this. And there's over 3,000 pictures to get a little bit of 92, 93 feel to it. And obviously the logo pack. I've also done a video, a special video just on that as well. So thank you, you guys, Roxend FM, who did the logo pack. Thank you to you three for giving me all this for free so I can have this one last big blowout for a rebuild. And boy, have we made some signings. So this one, I'm not thinking of head. I'm going with heart. I'm seeing with players that I remember. I want to sign Baggio. But Baggio is in his prime, 26 years old. He's at Juventus. He's going to cost me 200 million. I kind of think that I need to do this, keep simulating this till I can get my hands on my idol, uh, Roberto Baggio, attacking midfield. We're playing with a number 10 as well. So yeah, we may carry on. As long as you guys at home enjoy it, we may carry on to the point where we have this beautiful man at... Manchester City. Let's get into the signings. In. There's lots of players that you will recognise. Uh, it has been extremely fun. Um, new way of showing you guys as well how I'm going to announce the signings. I've got that new Let's Play series coming very soon with Newell's All Boys. I want to try and do little di things differently graphically in there. I did this with the uh, Crystal Palace save last year. So I hope you enjoy the way that I'm announcing these signings to you. Let me know down in the comments. That would be good. And the first one through the door is Fabrizio Ravanelli. We he was transfer listed, so we got him for 5.25 million. He only spent one season at Juventus. 16 goals, no goals in 16 games for him. However, in Division One, the championship as as it's now called, he will be exceptional for us. He has got obviously 16 finishing. He's six foot two, tremendous mentals and physicals, technicals. Absolute bargain. He will be a tremendous signing for us going forward. The next one is Paul Lambert. Obviously, the manager has been Aston Villa, Norwich, etc. Ended up going to Borussia Dortmund at some point. However, we interrupted that. We got him for £2.3 million from St. Mirren. Box to box, defensive midfielder. We needed someone in there that was going to have that little bit of quality. And no doubt he gives us that. Something next, a little bit special, is Christian Vieira. We have picked him up for £10 million 
from Pisa. Luckily, he was still at Pisa. Obviously, a low reputation club, so we've managed to pick him up. He is going to score us plenty of goals. 20 determination, 15 finishing, an absolute beast at 20 years old. He, no doubt, is going to score goals for fun and hopefully get us promoted back to the Premier League. Next one in is Chris Bart Williams. We kind of wanted to, we need to bring some youngsters in, some English players in as well. And we brought in the 19 year old under 21 international. We paid 12.25 million. I wanted someone who could play as a number 10, also could play as an attacking eight. He's classed as a wonder kid. Uh, never quite hit the high notes. He was very good around this age and then in the middle, like mid 90s at Sheffield Wednesday. Did he go on to maybe Nottingham Forest in my head? I think he maybe did. He didn't quite hit sort of like the, the potential that he maybe showed. However, 20 passing, 19 leadership, 18 off the ball. He's going to be a tremendous acquisition in the central midfield. Remember, we are playing in the first division. And the next one is Chris Fairclough. Got him from Leeds United. Nice little pickup. 4.3 million. 29 years old in his prime. He's got the three attributes that I like. He can head it. He can mark. He can tackle. He's got a little bit of pace as well. 15 pace. So that definitely helps. We needed definitely strength, and we're playing three at the back. We needed to strengthen, and I wanted to bring a nice English car to my central defensive line. Another one through the door, Vinny Jones. He ended up going to Roma from Chelsea at the start of the save. Played one disappointing season in Rome. We picked him up for £2.2 .2 million. 20 marking, 20 tackling, 20 leadership, 20 aggression, 19 stamina, 18, 18 strength player traits, winds up opponents, argues with officials, dives into tackles. That is exactly what I need to get us out of this division. And the next one is Pariva. I know I don't. We've got four strikers. We're going with the Alex Ferguson 99 system where you want two up front. It's a long, busy season is the championship. 46 games plus potentially any playoffs plus other games. So we've brought in Pariva. I don't. 17 finishing. 16 pace. Strength 17. 6 foot 4. Absolute unit. Good at free kicks and heading as well absolute beast we've picked him up on a free but i think there's a comp there was a compensation fee of around 2.3 million pounds um, we have now got van oydon vieri niall quinn and ravenelli all trying to get one of my two striker spots next is aloni we really struggled at getting the left wing back in we have gone for steve harkness who we got from liverpool on loan just paying his wages for the season he's pretty good 18 tackling uh, crossing 13 Pace 16, he's only 21 years old. I think if we get into the Premier League this season, we definitely need to strengthen in there. But an adequate signing for us because there wasn't much else, to be honest. And then another one coming across from Liverpool, Dominic Matteo, 19 years old. He's got good stamina at, at 17, good tackling as well. So I just know what someone who can play a couple of positions for us, decent to have on the bench. Next one is Craig Short, a player that we've picked up from QPR. Now I've kind of only bought him because he was a local boy. He played at Pickering. Well, at my youth team as I played it growing up, he's got very good defensive attributes in heading, marking, and tackling. Lacks in his pace though, but strength and stamina, 25 years old, English centre half will help us during the season. I'm expecting him to sort of like be a little bit of a backup. Next one is Pat McGinley, someone who can play as a number eight. He has fantastic technical attributes. We picked him up from Hibbs for five million pounds. I'm hoping that he has a really good season. He has got literally everything. 17 finishing. 16 passing, 16 technique, 17 leadership. Um, good age as well, 26 years old. Uh, yeah, I'm still thinking in this division, he's going to be absolutely fantastic. Another one to add a little bit of strength and depth into the midfield is Paul Stewart. He was transfer listed, so we got him for a bargain. 1.6 million from Liverpool. 19 stamina, 19 aggression, uh, 16 passing, 17 tackling. A really good central midfielder who can kind of play in all three, three areas. Defensive midfield, central midfield an attack him in field. Mauricio Pochettino is in, 21 years old. We've paid 8.25 million, 18 heading, marking 17, uh, aggression 19. He is going to be fantastic for us. He's going to sit in the middle of our back three. We needed a new goalkeeper. We've lost two goalkeepers who wanted to leave after relegation. We have brought in Francisco Laiano. Now, he's not very happy. Didn't seem to want much interest in playing. However, he is a decent goalkeeper in terms of his attributes. So we've picked him up from the big, to be fair, big side in Deportivo La Coruña for 2.5 million. 19 reflexes though, 28 years old, obviously coming into his prime. Uh, 20 aggression for a goalkeeper, which is a little bit odd, but kicking 17 and handling 17, really good goalkeeper to have in the second tier. And the last one through the door, he needs a little bit of work. He's only 21, but hopefully over the next three seasons, he will be useful. It is Yap. 
Stam. We picked him up from PC Zwoll for 5.25 million. 20 determination. Marking and tackling are already good. Pace to be desired at 8. I thought he was going to be a little bit quicker than that. Strength, 15 at the age of 21. I just, you know, we've gone with heart overhead for a lot of these. Um, fingers crossed. He will be a fantastic addition to the squad. And brilliantly, we've started the season pretty well, which you would imagine. We've also been playing against York City, uh, my club, who are actually in the third division. They've actually got Dean Kiley in the 92-3 database. But as you can see, we've had a really good pre-season. We've just been knocked out of the Carabao Cup, League Cup second round. Not too bothered about that. We did rotate our squad heavily, but we've started the season really well, beating Derby 3-1, coming from a goal behind. Um, beating Millwall, coming from two goals behind. That was a penalty and a, and a header from a corner. And then we've just smashed Barnsley. Um, so I'm hoping for a really good season. Now, this is a tactic I am playing. It is from my Jose is back team. I've just altered it slightly because I want that Chris Bart Williams role, or that central midfielder role to be on attack just so he can push further forward. We've got three good defenders. We've got the wing backs. If anything, we're struggling at wing backs. We are going with Harkness, Harkness on one side. And then uh, where is he? Ian Brightwell. No, I think he's believe he's our captain on the other. And then the rotation of the four strikers, Vieri, Nalquin, uh, Van Hoydok, Ravinelli. This is going to be a lot of fun. I'm fingers crossed we can get through the season. We, uh, we need to finish first. First, the board expects us to win the league. So fingers crossed we can win the league. Right, just but before we move on, I'm just going to show you some of the actual transfers that have kind of kicked on over the summer period. I imagine there's a lot of money swilling about. Fastino Espria has gone to Inter from uh, Parma. They've been relegated. Cafu, I forgot about Cafu. Damn it, I forgot about Cafu. 23 years old. Maybe that's something we could try and get next year. He's only validated at 16. We probably wouldn't have got him anyway because obviously we're in the, in the League Division 1. One of the weird ones, Massimo Allegri has gone to uh, Brushy Dortmund. Oliver Behoff. Roberto Di Matteo has gone to Roma. Obviously some of these are coming into their sort of like early 20s a lot of these I'm pretty sure as well our big rivals yeah our big rivals across the city have um, picked up Alan Shearer from Blackburn for 39 million pounds he is going to score some bloody goals isn't he right let's kick on to the end of the season and see how we've done in the first season of the rebuild Right, here we are, boys, and we're back. And as you can see, we have absolutely smashed the division. 46 games played, 39 wins, 2 draws, 5 defeats. We have scored 150 goals. Conceding 54, so very attacking. Goal difference of 96, 119 points. Wolves must be devastated, finishing nine, on 99 points. Even Ipswich, 97 points. Middlesbrough, 96 Dear me, Swindon 94, but all we're bothered about is that we've done it. Boy, have we done it. Niall Quinn, 54 goals for the season, followed by Beckford. Darren Beckford, not familiar with him, but he's managed to score himself 48. And Christian Vieri has got 27 Christian Vieri, in his first thing, he's going to get better and better for us, isn't he? He's going to, get abs he's going to be an absolute beast in the Premier League. Fitzroy Simpson is a player that we are losing at the end of the season. He never wanted to sign a new contract. He's going to Atalanta. He has played a lot this season for us, though, getting 27 assists. So we will miss him. Chris Bart Williams, as well, has done very, very well. He's now wanted by Norwich and Stuttgart, but we are going up. He's still only 19 years old. 10 goals, 20 assists. Just what I wanted in his debut season. How have the other players done? So Pochettino has played a lot of the games, 47 games, three goals, four assists, an average rating of 7.04. Goal-wise, Niall Quinn, 58, Vieri, 29, Hoidonk, very much a substitute, getting 19 in only eight starts, 31 a sub. We'll take that. Obviously, Ravanelli has barely played. I thought we could maybe rotate the squad a little bit more. He has asked to be transfer listed, so it looks like he will be heading out in the summer, which is a little bit of a shame. We maybe need, maybe just need to go with three strikers next season and maybe have a young player who's happy being a backup, try and get maybe another wonder kid through the door. That would be good. Keith Curl, who was already with us, has had a really good season. 8.29 average rating, by the way, for Nell Quinn. Bart Williams has said it's a good season. Ian Brightwell, our wing back, 10 assists. Anyone else chipping in assist-wise? Uh, Fitzroy Simpson that we spoke about, Battle Rooms. Vieri's done very well getting his goal contribution, contributions. Niall Quinn's goal contributions is 71. Steve Lomas has come in and played a lot of games, which I didn't expect. But at the age of 20, he's a really good player. 
loads of Premier League clubs are chasing him. Yap Stam, Lambert haven't featured much. Uh, maybe we might even look at moving on potentially players like Lambert. It's going to be a lot of fun in the summer. We've managed to get through. Vinnie Jones hasn't played much at all, which I'm really surprised at. Really surprised he hasn't played more because he's absolutely outstanding. I will definitely use him as a backup at the very least. And then once again, we'll try and move on players like maybe Edge Hill, Paul Lake. Pat McGinley hasn't had a fantastic season, so we may look at see if we can ship him potentially back to Scotland. As we find life in the Premier League, we've done it at the first attempt. We've done it in spectacular fashion. Who's won the league? Liverpool have won the league. Palace have done well. They actually got Champions League spot in the first season. Luton, Sheffield United and Coventry are coming down. So we'll have a look through those squads. I wonder if we've been given any money yet. I don't think we probably have. We did spend a lot in the summer. Evan Kirk, who's already been recommended to us, what a legend he was. Looks like we've got maybe around 70 million to spend with a couple of sales. Get maybe three or four, five players in. We did spend a lot in terms of bodies through. I think we maybe need to get in another centre half, get a young striker in maybe improving our central midfield or wide areas. It's all adding up. The wing-backs, we probably need to improve in our wing-back area as well. Fingers crossed we can have a really good transfer window. By the looks of it, Harkness and Matteo have both gone back, so that probably means why Fitzroy Simpson's played so many games. He's obviously become the number one left wing-back, so we really need to strengthen at left wing-back in the summer. All right, guys, that is it. So the next rebuild episode of this will come out Sunday morning, so make sure you're staying tuned for that. And then the final episode, end of season three will be this time next week, Tuesday, 4.45, right here on the channel. Thank you very much for watching. Smash a like on today's video. Once again, thank you to the mad scientist, Ash Roxend FM, for giving me everything to put this fantastic little database together. Uh, I've really enjoyed it. We need to get going, don't we, see if we can sign my idol. Bajio. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. See you later.